community. And over the years, the last three years, everyone, and El Pasoans especially, have had different ways of honoring and remembering the victims. One of those ways is through art. ABC 7's Brianna Perez joins us live from a mural in central El Paso. Here in central El Paso, this El Paso Strong Mural right behind me was painted by Gabriel Vasquez. Gabriel, after this painting, it has been now a, a landmark for many El Pasoans and a place for healing. With paintbrush and spray paint, Vasquez says that his artwork has helped the community mourn. Vasquez said that he has been making art for about 16 years. In days after the mass shooting, Vasquez says he wanted to do something to bring the community together. Although the process to make the, the mural come to life came with adversity, it is now a reminder of how El Paso strong our community is. The mural depicts the Franklin Mountains and its iconic star. It stands here at the 1000 block of North Cotton Street. You can come out here and see it at any time. Vasquez says it's become an important spot for many people and that for the last couple of years, he has came to visit himself to make maintenance work that might be needed. He feels honored to have been a part of the healing process. It's more of a platform for them to heal, like, on, you know what I mean? This gave people a place to come and do that and leave flowers and cry and hold each other, you know what I mean? And it's a historical landmark for a reason. And coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we hear from some El Pasoans who tell us what it means to be El Paso strong. From reporting in central El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7. Okay, Brianna.